everybody. Um, so we have an, another ES, ISV session today. And to give you all a little bit background, I'm, as you know, I'm, I'm going to the summit in the US every year together with some of my team members. And part of why we are going there is for sure to try to identify um, ISV third party solutions that are a good addition to our portfolio here in Asia to what Akomadika delivers in the standard. And so we met um, BIMSER International and they can introduce themselves better than I can do it in a minute. Um, at the summit this year and they have a few, I believe for the Asian market, very, very interesting products. And so today um, we will mainly talk about um, quality management um, functionality, which is which are requests um, I myself or, or our partner account managers here to shine and to um, getting a lot of requests related to this. So I believe it's very interesting for our market here to not only extend um, the manufacturing edition, but, but the Acomatica functionality overall. And um, actually today in one week, we will have another session by BIMS uh, with um, maintenance uh, asset, asset maintenance functionality, which as well is a, is a request um, that we are getting here very, very often out of the different markets here in Asia. So I think BIMSA can be really for the future a very, very interesting um, partner, can be a very interesting partner for us here in Asia to, to grow the business further and, and continue doing this. So with this, I, I think I'm just handing over to um, Anderson and Kevin, and maybe you, you can then introduce yourself short. Um, yes, sorry, you. one thing, one thing yes. not to forget, if you have any questions, please put this in the question box as we always do it or in the chat window. I'm monitoring it and I'm happy to, to ask the questions and on your behalf um, to the presenters. So please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the <clears throat> introduction, Proxim. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Kevin, Kevin Devejoglu. I am the Managing Director of Insure International and based in New York. Uh, today, um, uh, I am with uh, our uh, Prince Software Engineer, Anderson Wang, with us. Uh, he is also New York based with me. And we are very happy to uh, be uh, with Acumetic Asia and Acumetic Asia partners today. And I'd like to thank for this uh, opportunity. Uh, today, we have uh, put together a presentation and, a, and a, a brief demo for you. And we'll be happy to uh, address your questions. And then later on, if uh, you are interested, we can schedule a more detailed demo session for your information and review. So uh, let's get started with our company, if that's okay, uh, who we are, what we do. So uh, I'd like to share some uh, brief information with you. We are BIM3 International. We are an enterprise software maker since 1998. In essence, we are a digital transformation enabler. We help companies simplify their processes. That's how we design our products. And that's our basically the guide and that's what we believe in uh, when we work every single day. Uh, we are a group of companies. Our software development, com uh, development center and our parent company is based in Istanbul metro area where the yellow dot is on the map. We have another company in Europe called BIMSER Europe for our European operations. Uh, us as Team BIMSER International, we are based in New York. So as a group, we are about 150 people. Most of us are software engineers. We work day and night to deliver the best of the products and help companies solve their challenges, solve their problems. That's our goal. We are uh, also um, uh, 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 we are also certified by ISO. We have ISO 9001 certification, ISO 27001 certification to make sure that we have uh, management standards in place and we deliver uh, a great uh, quality and customer service in uh, every single action that we take. Also, uh, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development is in our board, so that gives us uh, not only financial security, in addition to that, we are also exposed to uh, international markets, uh, especially in Europe and other international market with, uh, with this uh, partnership. Um, and um, I'd like to also share some information about our product. So as I mentioned, since 1998, uh, we have been developing uh, enterprise software products. However, we have been very, very focused. Uh, we focus on these four products only. So that makes us a specialist basically. 
what do we have in our product range? Uh, we have EBA. EBA is our workflow, document management and records management platform. It helps companies manage their internal processes, workflows, and it helps organizations automate their uh, uh, business processes in essence. That's the platform where you can develop uh, apps and solutions. BIM is our asset and maintenance management software. It helps companies manage their, their cars, trucks, equipment, machinery, uh, and also uh, companies can manage their facilities uh, and energy consumption. BIM is also certified by Acumetica and in Acumetica's ecosystem. Uh, also, EBA is also uh, in Acumetica's ecosystem. It hasn't been certified yet, but it's on the way, so soon it will be available. Uh, QDMS is our quality risk and compliance management software uh, that is also certified by Acumetica uh, and we'll talk more about it today uh, in the scope of quality as uh, Thorsten mentioned earlier uh, and uh, it helps companies comply with uh, ISO, SQF, DRC on the quality assurance part, on the quality control part with the association of EBA, uh, companies can manage their day-to-day uh, quality control operations and inspection operations. Uh, most of the companies, they have typically forms, called control forms um, uh, and uh, some other uh, operational forms they fill up every single day. So with the help of QDMS and EBA, uh, you can automate those forms in an electronic environment. And with the help of QDMS, you can make sure that you have the quality assurance in place and, uh, and, and run smoothly. Uh, and we'll talk more about QDMS today and Anderson will be presenting it to you, our product. And finally, we have Ensemble. Ensemble is our business process management tool. In the next slide, I'd like to also share you how we position our uh, product. So uh, in a sense, Ensemble is a managerial tool. It helps companies manage their KPIs and uh, performance management uh, operations. Uh, other products of ours, EBA, Beam, and QDMS, they automate processes. So uh, all of our products, they can work standalone independently. They can be integrated with each other, and they can be integrated with any uh, system available in the marketplace. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very happy to uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, most of our products are already integrated with Acumetica and work smoothly. Um, uh, all of our products they can work on cloud, uh, they can work on-premise servers. So we have up-to-date technology, and we keep investing in our technology every single day. Which which is very important for us and for our clients. Uh, let's go to the next slide, please. So here you can see uh, how many implementations that we have done since 1998, by the end of last year. You can also get an idea of how many clients that we have globally. As you see, we have done many deployments. Let's talk about QDMS a little bit. We deployed QDMS more than 920 times by the end of last year and uh, counting. Uh, so uh, we have deployed in uh, many different uh, industries with many different uh, organizations and uh, it is vertical free. It can be uh, deployed and operated in any industry. It could be manufacturing, could be construction, uh, could be distribution, uh, manufacturing, could be discrete manufacturing, process manufacturing. So the product is, uh, is very flexible. In addition, QDMS is very, very scalable. We have clients with uh, 80 employees, 60 employees. We, uh, we have clients with 10,000 employees. So product can scale up and scale down uh, thanks to its user-friendly uh, structure. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to also share some information with you with regards to some of our references available. These are global uh, references that we have, uh, and uh, these are enterprise uh, references. For instance, we are working with Trium. Trium is using our uh, product uh, EBA, our workflow of engine in 17 different countries. Also, we have United Nations as one of our references. Uh, they are using our product for refugee tracking and documentation purposes. Uh, we have Bridgestone uh, in tire and manufacturing industry. They are also using our product. We have AstraZeneca as, as one of our references in pharmaceutical industry. We have Societe General, they use EBA for loan automation purposes um, in the day to day operations. Uh, we have Arclight Movie Theaters based in California. Uh, they are also using EBA for uh, their purchasing operations. And finally, we have uh, Ford and Renault 
uh, Nissan Alliance one of is one of our is some of our references. Uh, these are some of the references that we have. We have more references available on our website, pincerinc.com. So uh, let me give you also more information about how we position our product. As you see, these references are coming from the enterprise market. Uh, however, uh, we also uh, serve and have organizations in mid market, small and mid-sized companies. That's uh, one of the reasons that we focus on Akimetika as well. So in addition to enterprise level companies, we can also uh, we can also help support organizations in a small and mid-sized uh, market as well. Uh, so that's a, that's a side note that you can keep in mind. So uh, once you have the QDMS, once you deploy it at, a, at one of your customer's location, for instance, QDMS can grow with your client because the product is scalable. That's the key. So uh, if the company grows, they don't have to replace the product. QDMS grows with them. It is scalable. So they can use it for a very, very long time. That is it. So that, that, can, be a very, that can be a very good uh, investment for the client, something to keep in mind. So in a nutshell, means as being Mr. International, that's who we are and what we do. What I like to do is that uh, right now, if that's okay, um, I like to hand it to our pre-sales software engineer, Anderson, Anderson Wang, uh, and he'll be addressing uh, our uh, product, CDMS, our quality risk and compliance management software. He'll be presenting you uh, uh, about our product and also uh, he has a demo environment set up, uh, a brief demo, uh, since we have limited time that we'll share with you. And then I'll uh, again uh, come back and then I'll talk about our partnership model, well, why you should partner with Binter International, you know, what makes us different and what kind of uh, benefits and advantages that we provide to our partners that, uh, that I like to share with that, uh, I like to share that information with you as well. I think enough said on my side for now. Uh, Anderson, I'd like to leave it to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving the uh, company presentation, Kevin. Um, to start, let me uh, thank everybody who's participating in this uh, meeting. I really thank you for your time uh, as I am here to share with everybody this presentation of QDMS. Uh, as you mentioned earlier at, with BIMSER International, our end goal for every project is simplicity. Uh, if we want to make a, uh, anything very convenient for digital transformation, QDMS is no different. So QDMS is our integrated quality management system. It is for quality, risk, and compliance management. The main focus of QDMS is to ensure that any company undergoes their processes in compliance to quality standards. These quality standards include various ISO uh, certifications, uh, such as the ISO 9001 um, and ISO 14001, along with others such as SQF and BRC uh, for more specialized industries. QDMS is a web-based application, meaning that you can access it through your web browser or your mobile device. Um, the, the mobile application is uh, compatible with both Android and iOS, and, and it makes it very easy and, and convenient for anybody to access the corporate database uh, within QDMS. Um, like our other products, QDMS is uh, modular. So there are several modules that any company can independently pick and choose from for purchase, uh, meaning you don't have to or, uh, like bundle or, or purchase the whole suite. You can pick and choose. And in that sense, the product is scalable. It can grow with your company as your company grows and uh, demands more uh, actions with modules. QDMS is can easily be integrated with other applications. Uh, we are certified with Acumatica. We can uh, very much so uh, slurp information from Acumatica into QDMS and manage that kind of manage those system informations within QDMS uh, within their modules. To run any action in QDMS, there is actually uh, no coding uh, no coding skills required making it extremely, uh, very easy to learn, very easy to train uh, end users on how to use this product. Furthermore, everything, because it is in a corporate database, you can maintain a corporate memory. All actions are recorded within QDMS along with their timestamps, along with uh, who is involved in the process. And again, you can access it, whether it be from your computer on your web browser or from your mobile device. In regards to usability, the, 
QDMS is as easy as ever. Uh, all the modules are, co are consistent. So once you learn how to maneuver through one of the modules, uh, you, can, uh, you basically learn how to use them all. The home screen of QDMS is uh, very, very convenient in that uh, once you log in, all the pending tasks are categorized by, uh, the, by certain uh, categorizations um, based on your modules, uh, all in your home screen that you can access easily. On top of that, there's also an email integration system so that if there is a task assigned to you, you will also get an email notification. Uh, you can also send email notifications to your peers in this sense. Uh, on top of that, there is the configurable warning and escalation me mechanism. What this means is if a task were to be overdue, QDMS can automate uh, a notification to the next person in charge to prompt that action. Uh, it's a very nice way to make sure that everybody is on top of their tasks as to avoid uh, that automated message to the higher up. Um, uh, this, this needless to say, QDMS is a uh, user-based application, meaning that there is login authentic authentication. This is very important for uh, choosing what authorizations or what permissions a user or a user group has to particular modules uh, or particular documents, uh, more simply put. There's a role-based task assignment, meaning that assign, uh, tasks that are assigned to particular roles, if the person in that role uh, ends up being promoted or leaves the company for whatever reason, uh, the task will actually stay on that role for the next person who takes charge of that position. Uh, and with each module, there is, the, uh, there is the capability to generate a report, uh, whether it be through a graph or an Excel sheet, there are many options. And uh, that is a great way to uh, gain an analysis of all of the system information. Also, we must mention that QDMS does have localization support, meaning that you can actually run the uh, QDMS uh, environment in different languages, uh, depending on a user. And this is very nice for keeping all companies and departments into a single loop, so to speak. So with all of these features, there's bound to be multiple world, like real world benefits. Um, as this is a quality management system and it seeks to, uh, seeks to improve customer satisfaction and continuous improvement, that is what a lot of these modules aim to do. Uh, and because QDMS also has these uh, actions and tasks automated, you greatly reduce the chance of making mistakes and, human, and uh, encountering human error. And because it is a digital transformative uh, product, uh, you will be saving uh, time, you'll be saving money uh, on your papers, on forms, uh, such like such and others. Um, and because all of the actions can be sent within each other very, very uh, swiftly and natively within QDMS, uh, you actually strengthen your communications across departments and uh, all the forms, uh, you, you ensure that forms and memos get to the right location uh, and you ensure that all processes undergo smoothly. All right, so this slide is presenting our top QD QDMS modules. These are the most popular modules that we see our customers um, uh, uh, showing an interest in. So um, this is not to say that these are the only modules, there are actually uh, 20 plus modules and counting. Uh, we are always improving on this uh, product, of course. And um, let's just get right to it. The top left, uh, we have the document management module. This is uh, more commonly known as the core of QDMS. In fact, it was QDMS at its prime. What it is, is uh, you, the ability to, undergo, to create uh, an entire document and go through its entire life cycle in accord to what, whichever quality standards a company uh, wants to adhere to. So this includes uploading, uh, distributing, revising, reviewing, approving, uh, deleting, whatever action that is required within the process, uh, QDMS will log it within the document management uh, module. Also, I had mentioned earlier that there is the ability to adjust your permissions based on user groups, teams, uh, such or other. And all of those actions, all the timestamps are also recorded so you can uh, generate a report from there. Below that, we have the customer complaints module. Uh, in parentheses, it's written internal and external. This means that complaints can be uh, coming in from internally, meaning an employee, 
or externally, meaning a, a customer. Uh, this is a great way for a company to gauge uh, their customer satisfaction or uh, just a general, general feedback. Um, anybody can point something out and it's uh, supposed to be taken as a way for a company to improve. Below that is the Kappa module. Kappa stands for Corrective and Preventive Actions. Uh, it is also referred to um, identifying nonconformities. Um, a lot of uh, quality standards do want to see the, uh, the action of making sure that a company is uh, continuously uh, improving on themselves. So uh, the Kappa module is a way to take note of any, um, any errors or any findings that uh, could be improved on and also take note of which actions are uh, taken to uh, take care of these problems. Below that is the audit management module. Any company can go through a series of audits in any given year. Um, and also these audits can be run periodically. Uh, over time, it could be an overwhelming task if not uh, properly documented. Luckily, the Q this module within QDMS, you can uh, pre-select the questions that you were to ask when you're performing an audit, as well as assign uh, whoever is in charge of performing the audit. Um, that person will actually receive an email notification uh, when it is time to perform that audit. So they will be warned ahead of time. Uh, that way everybody can keep uh, on schedule and on task with their audit plans. The action management module on the top here, it is a, uh, a more generally speaking, it is a task manager. You can assign tasks to particular users. The uh, assignment date and the due date will also be logged in. Uh, this, this module is also really nice because you can devise a action plan and within the action plan uh, create sub actions, uh, particular like individual actions within a bigger plan. Uh, that way you can get a more uh, structural feel of how uh, an action fits into a, a particular team's uh, project. Another module very good for seeking uh, uh, gauging feedback is the survey module. Uh, there are ways to distribute a survey very easily within QDMS. Um, an embedded link will actually be distributed within an email. Um, uh, I like it because you can receive, you can see the feedback rate of your surveys. Um, and this is much better than any third party uh, surveys because uh, you don't see a response rate. And with that response rate, you can have a uh, generated report from there. Uh, how it works is, you can scale or weigh each uh, response to the questions that you assign in the survey. And there are many, many types of questions that you can uh, assign within the survey, whether it be multiple choice or uh, a rating scale or even open-ended, all can be done within this module. We have a training module with QDMS. Uh, anybody, any end user can request a training. Uh, very, very quickly, it will be directly notified to whoever can devise a training plan. And whoever does so can also uh, find somebody to perform the training. Uh, so there will be a trainer. They can also uh, assign other people, other participants of this training plan uh, to, the, to the actual training. When time comes, uh, this module will also take attendance. You can take note of the attendance within uh, this training and uh, also generate a report of the end of that training. There's a calibration module uh, very simply put, any company could have an uh, asset that needs to be uh, periodically calibrated or, or uh, monitored, uh, so to speak. So this module is a way to assign a user uh, to periodically check up on that. Um, again, he will also be notified, he or she will also be notified within their home screen uh, when time comes. Now this right column is, uh, is, a, is a little t uh, teaser of all the uh, risk management modules that we have with QDMS because again this is a quality management system uh, we have these modules that are uh, uh, that guarantee that all these processes go in uh, accord to particular standards so for example we have the environmental aspects and effects module uh, this is a way for companies to get an understanding of their negative impacts on their environment and uh, this is uh, very important for those companies who are interested in, for example, ISO 14001. Um, 
and that way they can ensure that all their product all their processes can abide to these types of standards and below that we have the health and safety risks um risk asset management module um also very similar uh but it's also specialized towards occupational health and um safety hazards uh very important for for example like a manufacturing company for instance and after that, we have an IT asset risk and management module. Uh, this is also a very specialized uh, qual uh, quality risk management module. Uh, the, it is more specialized towards information security. I believe those, the, the companies who are uh, aiming towards ISO 27001 certification, this is, the mo this is the module for that. And this very last one, the process risk management module, think of it as the more generic risk management module. Um, again, there are multiple quality standards that any company can want to uh, choose to abide to. Uh, this is, think of this as a more generic or free form module that can, uh, you can really define or uh, uh, generate your own type of uh, forms or uh, what have you in regards to risk management within QDMS. That was a lot of that was a lot of modules, but uh, there are more. And again, you can pick and choose independently which modules a company would like to purchase. Um, I would also like to hear mention that uh, some of these modules can be integrated with each, with each other. And now that is not to say that they have to be bought together, but if you so happen to, you can integrate them very easily. So, for example, if I am performing an audit through the audit management module, and I see that. Uh, something can be improved with this audit. Uh, very, very generally speaking, maybe this question is weird. Maybe this question could be uh, asked better. I can open up a Kappa through there. Uh, so that's just one of the examples of integrative, uh, integrated modules. Great. So I have this slide here. It is a list of the industries that QDMS has provided for in our past. Uh, as you can see, this ranges from a wide, uh, wide range of uh, uh, industries. So uh, this is to say that QDMS is a vertical free product. Uh, it ranges from uh, various uh, industries and these are worldwide. So uh, just from this select few, I can see like education, insurance, production, technology, they're all, oh, they're, they're all spanning across. Um, so without further ado, I would like to uh, share with everybody um, a little demonstration of QDMS. I will pull it up very quickly here. And here is the login of QDMS. I am going to sign in as a typical end user so everybody can get an idea and a feel of how uh, the system works. So I've logged in. And here, right off the bat, you can see at the home screen, there are several tasks uh, that are assigned to this user and they are categorized based on the system definitions. And uh, as you can see, they're also very, de they're defined such that they adhere to the uh, modules that this user has access to. So you, if you see this drop down on the main menu, these are the modules uh, that this user can access. But before we go into those, I'd like to show how uh, these tasks, when they're assigned, they will be color-coded such that uh, yellow denotes that a task is due soon, while red is to denote that a task is overdue. Very important when generating a re uh, report within the action management module, for example, because you can see the frequency of uh, tasks that you finish on time or tasks that you finish late. Uh, that's just things. So here we have the uh, search function. The search tool is a way to maneuver through the entire documents uh, within the system. So here we have, uh, I just searched recipe and sure enough, there is uh, a document called recipe in the system. So that's just a little preview of that fast uh, documental search. Um, next up, on the top right, this is where you can adjust your languages. This user still happens to maneuver through QDM QDMS in both English and Turkish. Uh, However, a company chooses to implement QDMS, they can load on their own languages onto the product. All right, next, I would like to show how the document structure looks in their corporate directory. So uh, you go into the document viewer and here you have a very, uh, very finite structure of all the 
uh, folders here. So I can just go into the drop down and find that document that we saw earlier, recipe. But now let's look into other of the modules we have. So for example, customer complaints. So let's go into the external customer complaints. Here we'll have a list and uh, everything that is important in regards to uh, when, these, uh, when these external complaints were received or how they were taken care of, they're all logged in here. So uh, I can choose to edit them even or just show. So there's a show uh, action button here. Uh, when you click into that, you can see uh, a very nice laid out structure of uh, what has been done, what, what, how, what is, it the, what is the reason to, for this complaint, who has submitted this complaint, um, how the complaint was taken care of. All can be seen through here. Let's take a look at the CAPAs. Corrective and preventive actions for a little reminder. Um, here, let me just see if I can say customer dissatisfaction. That is a way of using this little filter uh, function. As you can see, you, there are different fields that you can use to filter. Um, yes, so this is a, an example of a kappa and here's a general display or showing of that kappa. Uh, so that is a little showcase of how to use the filter function. And this is import very important because over time, this could be a, a clutter of multiple kappas and uh, in the long run, you can always refer back to see if uh, maybe a complaint or nonconformity had already been documented in the system. And this is a great way to uh, maneuver through all of your documentation uh, to find such. Uh, this is also very similar for the audit plans. As, as I had mentioned before, um, audits are done very periodically. So it's very nice and very convenient to uh, structure them in such that you have audit plans. Um, maybe I want to see how audits were performed in 2018. I have this audit plan uh, 2018 written here, and you can go into the audits, see what they were, what what audits were performed within that time period. Uh, I can even uh, go into the questions and see which questions were actually asked during that audit, and these questions are actually uh. Uh, configurable through the implementation of QDMS. So you can really, uh, really uh, easily just select from a pre-selection of questions that are uh, assigned when uh, setting QDMS up. Speaking about setting QDMS up, it is a, uh, again, it, it can be implemented and deployed uh, on-premise or on cloud. So that should never be a concern for a, a company when, uh, when, to, when considering QDMS. Uh, so I believe that will wrap up this little uh, high level demonstration. I, I showed a, a nice little uh, how, how it looks on the infrastructure side, how it looks on the user interface. Um, I will now return back to our, uh, our slides. And um, I would like to pass the mic back to Kevin as he'll talk about our partnership opportunities. Thank you, Anderson. Thank you very much for the presentation and <clears throat> demonstration. Much appreciated. So, um, well, we uh, talked about our company uh, earlier today, and uh, we talked about one of our products called QDMS. Uh, now, I'd like to talk about our uh, uh, more detailed demo session, uh, also in association with Archimetrica, of course, we can, uh, we'll be happy to present it to you. Uh, this is our contact information on the screen, and uh, you can be in touch uh, with me, uh, with, uh, share your questions, and uh, definitely I'll be happy to address them. You can also um, uh, schedule a more detailed demo uh, session for you. Um, uh, in terms of quality management, just as a part, uh, quality management is on uh, basically it has two parts. One part is quality assurance, one part is quality control. So today we talk more about the quality assurance part of the operation. There is also quality control, which requires uh, a lot of forms and inspections. So uh, that is also a part of CDMS and EBA that also 
can uh, complement Archimedica in that sense as well. So um, uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for your time and for your interest. Much appreciated. I'm looking forward to uh, working with you. And as I mentioned earlier, that's my contact information on the screen. Feel free to get in touch with me, with our team, and we'll be happy to uh, discuss further uh, with you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Kevin and, and Anderson, for, for these presentations here today. So if I just um, short can add two small things. <clears throat> One thing is you managed you mentioned in the beginning that um, you are a certified Akumadika ISV and for all our partners here, when, when I was at the summit, I realized how much more important this is today for, for partners to really work with certified ISVs, which means we from Akumadika, and it's mainly done by our lab in Canada, are reviewing the solution that is out there and, and making sure on one side that it really works. And on the other side, it means as well that, that our ISVs are committing to stay up to date with the new releases that Akumadika has. And especially here in Asia, we, we had some, um, how I call it, inofficial ISVs before we worked with, where we sometimes made not so good experience. So this is something you really can count on. And not only for BIMSA, so please, um, it's your decision who you want to work with, but, but our recommendation is really um, look for the certified by Acrobatica sign on it because then you can make sure that you not only get a good solution from the ISV itself, but, but, but that we from Acrobatica are, are fully behind it too and, and working very, very closely together with these ISVs. The second part was um, something you just said now, Kevin, what I believe is something very important as well, especially here in Asia, that you are supporting the different deployment methods. And even now in Asia, we are getting more and more um, SaaS um, customers um, as well here, but we still have a lot of uh, private cloud or, or even perpetual licensing um, in Asia, as you all know. And, and this solution is supporting this as well. So I think this is something very important too for your customers in the end. What we are always talking about, um, in the end the decision is with the customer how they want to operate their solution. Um, this works here with, with this um, solution from BIM there as well at the, at the, same, at the same time. So um, I just wanted to add this because I think it's two, two very important points that we learned today. So if you are interested, as Kevin said, in learning more about this solution, reach out to Kevin. You see his email address on your screen now. Um, he was in the loop of the invitation emails too that I sent earlier, so you can find it there as well. Or you can reach out to me and I'm happy to, to connect you again with them. Um, and then maybe scheduling a follow-up demo, going more into details, giving you the chance to, to ask questions that you might have um, related this to this solution. And to, to close out the circle, I said in the beginning, I believe it's something really interesting for the market in Asia. And I, I saw here, we have a few attendees from Vietnam, from countries like Indonesia. Um, and I believe um, these are mainly manufacturing countries, right? And and a lot and more and more, we are getting requests from, for example, healthcare, um, manufacturer, uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing, where this plays a big role and, and where these kind of things are really important to, to be able to even sell into these markets. So um, look into this further. And like I said, if you are interested, reach out to Kevin, reach out to me, and um, we can then um, discuss the next steps together. So I just checked, we have no questions at the moment. So, but like I said, reach out to us with any questions you might have to, to move them forward. So thank you very much again, and especially for doing this in the middle of the night, Kevin. My and pleasure, anytime. Anderson. Thank you. <laughs> um, and thank so you for the thank you very much to everybody else for joining today. And like I said, we will have another session in one week <clears throat> where we will talk more about um, asset maintenance. Uh, solution of BIMSA International and then we can um, all talk again. So thank you very much for joining and have a good rest of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.